my name is uh, Ng Se Thai. Uh, I'm SO ST shop. Uh, my mother and my uncle is the boss of this uh, provision shop. Uh, hi, I'm Pauline. I am Ekthiam's daughter, uh, Gyok Kim's niece. I'm Ezra. I'm 20 this year. I'm Ekthiam's grandson. And I am Gyok Kim's grandnephew. My name is Ng Ekthiam. Uh, I'm the second brother of this family. My mom and dad have decided to say that why don't they start their own provision shop? That is, we were very young and even before I was born. So they finally decide to uh, get a place here. As I know, we were the first provision shop along uh, Franker Avenue. During our school age or even pre-schooling uh, age, uh, this is the only place that uh, my sibling and I uh, played with. My mom were discouraging us from uh, going out. So we basically grown up in the provision shop. This is actually also the shop that supported us as well as my sibling. I was like so-called born and bred here. I grew up here. So all my childhood memories are here in Chok Thai B, whether it's the front, the shop, uh, whether it's at the back, yeah, basically. So all the childhood memories are all related to here. Uh, my earliest memory of the shop would be coming here after kindergarten. So my kindergarten is just down the road from here. Uh, my granddad would fetch me. This place would serve as sort of an after-school care uh, until it was time for me to go home. Yeah. Yeah. When my father passed away in 1967, and my mom have to uh, shoulder the uh, continuous operation of the shop. And it was uh, pretty fortunate that my uncle Ekthiam have actually left school and stay on to support the running of the provision shop. I think it's in 1967, uh, my brother passed on. So I have to stay here to help. But as early as 65 or so, even during the school days, I do help out. So. Yeah. The word Thai B is actually in the name of my Thai as well as all my sister, they are all be something, be something, you know. So the Thai B is actually, you know, come from our name. Yeah. Uh, as one of the youngest generations of the family, the shop doesn't mean much to me, of course, as, as it does for older generations. I mean, um, for me, it has existed as sort of a childcare. La. And beyond that, not much, honestly. My dad, uh... I, I would say uh, because I follow him, like uh, even at work, so like we can say that we are quite close. Uh, I'll follow him for even uh, delivery when he's doing work with my mom. I guess he's always there, you know, it's not like uh, office father, you know, like you only see after five. Like he's, he's always there. My parents are always here. Yeah. Uh, 
很难做，做的就是这些小顾客在这边呢、啊，靠近的来买而已。所以就是做到现在了，想不做了就租给人家。啊、uh, ，It's not my decision alone. It's my sister-in-law, so she's getting very old. So, I mean, we are all aging, come of age, and then also the business is not profitable. This is the headquarters for the family. When, whenever we don't know where to go, we know that there's a home, there's a family here, yeah. So with the operating of the shop, I can see my uncles almost every day. But when the shop is closed, It is set, but everything got its beginning and an end to it. <laughs> 住在一起呀、啊，当然是好啦。以后这间店关了啊，他们就回去就很没有来了。More than just a shop. This this place, as, as I told you, it's a headquarter. Even though they married out, yes, they still come back here. 我干脆我就是讲，关了这家店啊，个人走个人，没有每天相见，好、哦，要等到一年啊，年三十初一初二，初三这样。I think she's very strong. Yeah. Uh, because my brother passed away very young. Yeah. And she is very determined to carry on. Yeah, we got my way.